what is tenant in orchestrator tenant in orchestrator is same as tenant of any house to become a tenant in any house we first need the house where we can stay then provide your details and money to house owner to use the house now same way if you want to use the orchestrator and its features like robots environments machines jobs like all this in facility then we first need the platform where we can become tenant and register as a tenant we need to have an account on uipath cloud platform to become a tenant tenant can manage the robot machine environment assets process and jobs etc now what is Cla uipath cloud platform uipath announced a new product that is called UiPath Cloud Platform. UiPath migrated the orchestrator community addition to the new UiPath Cloud Platform. Here, you can manage your licenses, add multiple orchestrator services, grant or remove user access rights to any of these instances, access services to create robots, environments, machines, process, run jobs, create schedules, like this UiPath cloud platform can be accessed by following URLs so as per my knowledge currently I know that only these URLs available to access the UiPath cloud platform first is the cloud.uipath.com second platform.uipath.com and third demo.uipath.com so if you have knowledge of any other URLs then you can comment on video you can mention that one in the comment section so if once you log in once you will register yourself in the cloud platform then you will be getting like this so let me show you how to register yourself as a tenant in cloud platform first we can directly open this from the link that is HTTP cloudUIPath.com so I'm going to directly click on this hyperlink so that it will automatically open the link to the Chrome so once we'll open this link then we'll get option to sign up here so here we are getting option to login we have the multiple option here continue with the Google continue with the Microsoft continue with the LinkedIn or you can enter your details here or you can click here the sign up option and then you can put your details to sign up but if you have the Google account or Microsoft account or LinkedIn account then you can directly click here and then you can register yourself in cloud platform otherwise you can click here in the sign up here and then you will get option to provide your details so here again it's showing the create your account choose from the below options you can choose a sign up with the Google sign up with the Microsoft now here you can select sign up with the email and then you can provide your name first name last name country company name etc you can provide here set a new password and then agree and then click sign up but I'm going to show you using Google because I have the Google account so I'm just going to click on sign up with the Google so it will show all the email IDs that have been stored in your Google account so here I have the two accounts I'm going to use the this UiPath RP account so once we'll click here so it is asking for the details that please provide your please provide us the following information like first name last name country and the company name that is optional and then we can sign up from here so let me write here the first name is UiPath and second is RPA and then country will be India and the here if you have the company name then you can put here otherwise this is optional and then select this then click on sign up so once we'll click on sign up that you will be registered in cloud UiPath platform let me click here 
so it is taking time it is validating your details with the cloud platform database and then if it does not exist in the cloud will form area then automatically that will be you will be registered so here once we'll sign up there then you will get this congratulations with your name like hi UI path RP congratulations on kicking a start your automation journey now this is the dashboard that you you will be getting and this is the things you will be getting after register to UiPath cloud platform and here you will be registered as a administrator where you can do all these things and now we'll be discussing one by one so here is the dashboards here you will be getting all these details of like license users trends like here no users history because we have currently registered ourselves as a tenant so here showing attendant robots, unattended robots, development robots, non-production robots and then here if we scroll down then it is showing that distributed license it means you have been allocated to license of attendant robots, one license of unattended robots, two of development of robots and zero it means you don't have any license of non-production robots so because this is free license free community edition so you just haven't given these robots here now we will be looking at the services so once we will click on service it is showing UiPath default it means first time it shows as the default account and that is administrator account here you can see this is administrator accounts and here you can log out from there also now what is services once we have the cloud account we can add multiple tenant as a service in the services tab here you can manage orchestrator services robots can be allocated to each tenant services as per license as you have seen here in the dashboard here as per the license robots has been distributed to the to user so here in the services this is you can say this is a tenant so once we'll register yourself here in the UiPath cloud platform in the services tab you will be getting tenant name that is UiPath default once we'll click on this it will redirect you to the orchestrator page so once we click on that it will submit the form and then after that you will get that UiPath orchestrator page right so by this way you can register yourself you can become a tenant in orchestrator once we click on there that you will be getting a orchestrator here here it is showing UiPath default UiPath RPA so we will be discussing about this UiPath orchestrator letter so first we are going to tell you here that we have one tenant here for the one account of cloud if you want to add you can add here multiple tenant but you should have the license of that but currently if I will be if I am going to write add any tenant here then I will be getting error message let's suppose I am going to write here RPA UAT so here I am not getting any robots here we have 0 available attendant 0 available unattended 0 0 0 so we cannot add anything here we will be getting error like maximum number of services reached upgrade your plan to add more so we have to pay for this then we can add more tenant here like multiple tenant here so if we are using free community editions free UiPath cloud platform then we should be happy with the one tenant and we can use this here we can select this and we can edit in the action section we can edit the tenant we can change the uh, we can change the location of the license we can put here one attended one development one attended like that you can save this if you don't require this then we can disable this or we can delete this also 
so we have the option here also enable disable and delete here it's showing that this tenant has been allocated two attendant robots one unattended robots two development ro robots and zero non production so based on this allocation we can create here robots as per the license so as here showing that two attended it means we can create here two attendant robots and here showing one at unattended it means we can create here one unattended robots so you should have the license to add more unattended more attended or developments